everybody. My name is Céline Ross and I am a Genome Educator. So you cannot see me now because today for the last demonstration I'm using the Genome laptop, you know, our, uh, our uh, Genome work uh, computer. Just to show you that I can work and on a PC or a Mac. The three previous demonstrations were with a Mac, but with my Mac, I'm all installed with all my camera, and uh, it is really different. But I want to show people that you can use both. But, of course, on this laptop, I don't have the same, uh, uh, how should I say, uh, the spot and the... the fancy camera and everything so i don't know how to you to see me and then switch to the com to, to the software so it's me don't worry so i'm behind the um and just behind the computer okay just in front of the screen so it is me but when i was really younger okay and skinnier but what what am I gonna do with this I'm gonna use that picture which is a JPEG JPEG is not an embroidery for Mata so I'm gonna use it as a as an image to show you two a few different uh, way of embroid a, um, a picture or a photo okay I'll click on it it's a JPEG click click then it asked me what do you want to do with this what we like so far what we didn't touch yet because today it's going to be fun just fun little things with the software okay so what am i going to do what do i want to do i can do photo stitch or pen stitch or cross stitch or try trace on you know i can use all of them but i want to show you how easy to to um use those two here because they're the most popular okay i'll start with photo stitch i ask my software okay this is what i want to, go to do and now well this is way too small huh? so i'm gonna say seven inches okay seven so you see here it's gonna change also seven and it went according to the rectangle of the picture okay and here it is. That's not more complicated. That is not, uh, yeah, it's not complicated. Okay. So I'm going to zoom to show you. Look at this. This is the way. So this is the way it's going to be embroidered. So this color first, then the blue, then the yellow, then the black. Okay, how do I know this? I look, they're all here. Okay, so if I look at this for seven inches, I have 94,200 stitches. So it'll take, uh, at 400 stitch a minute, uh, it'll take a while to embroid, but the result is just amazing. Huh? It's longer it takes longer to embroid than to convert jpeg into a draw file or draw file or um, a jeff file okay i'll leave it there i ask a new window and again i'm going back getting my picture this time i'm going to open paint stitch okay to show you the difference, I'll, I'll do seven inches, seven, enter. Okay. And that's it. This is painting. I'm going to scroll. See, if you look far, because you don't, you're not supposed to look, whoops, so close. A painting, the painting, you see the software detect all the details. It's, Really, it, it amazed me. I don't know who's behind those um, 
those programmers, but oh, they're, they're so smarter than me. So look at this. If you look at the painting from far, you see the difference. So I was here. Picture, painting, photo, painting. So that's a way to do it, but there's other ways. If I select, oh, look at this, it have disappeared. I deselect, nothing is here in my property properties. And just to let you know, just before I show you this here, before I, I start to show you uh, my demonstration, I switch, I was teaching into French, the same class, and I switch to English the software i had to shut it down uh, not shut it down close it and reopen it to activate my change of language okay so if i select it photo look at this cross stitch look at that as easy as this you just want to see the artwork cross stitch photo, paint stitch. And I did this with the last one. I'll remove it. Now I'm with the first one with the photo. Select, again, cross stitch, photo, paint stitch. Paint stitch, 88,300 stitches and 15 change of color. And you know, you cannot change the order of the colors, okay? You have to really to follow it because you'll end up that you will not recognize yourself, okay? I can change the setting and the, uh, when I ask my, um, uh, when I select my picture, you know, in JPEG, in the welcome um, screen, I could uh, change the size. I ask, whoops, whoa, 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 whoa. I asked seven inches, but I can do it here also. So you see now I'm 95, 300 stitches. So it takes more time to embroider than to uh, convert, like I said before. Okay. So if I go back into welcome, browse, See, you have your favorite here. You know all the sewing machine, uh, embroidery machine, and the software, when you buy them, they give you example. Example. And I have paint stitch uh, photo. Look at the little doggy. Paint stitch. I'm afraid this will be too small, but too small. So I will say, let's say five inches. Okay. Yeah, when it's too small, it doesn't obey. Hey, can you believe this? As easy, it's it's so easy to convert. Uh, another thing I'm going to tell you to, to show you to, see, I enlarge it. But if I want to go in photo, look, but this, you see here, it doesn't suit well. It's not nice. I'm not crazy about it. You know, paint stitch is the best here. The best option with all of them. Okay, I'll come back on something else. See my picture? Now, do I have it here? Yes, I'm going to say artwork. Do you see behind... I erase everything. I let it white. And this is what you need to clean, you know. Because uh, to do a photo, it's easier, you see. If everything is dark, you won't know if it's the background or your face. or it's You clean it. You clean it. But you see where I was? It was blue behind. I can't see. It doesn't, uh, doesn't matter, you know. But um, it's easier when you do our photo or paint stitch. It's, uh, 
it, it hides everything. You think it's my hair, even if it was the a bit the background here or somewhere else. Okay, so this is one of the nice, easy function of artistic digitizer. I'm not going fast to remove everything because it's like the computer is is bugging a bit makes me nervous so when I don't want something X I don't want it anymore okay now uh, I'm coming again to browse favorite example okay and I want to go here, Acufil Stippling. So, and you see, you don't see them well. Huh? See this icon here, this um, cursor? Now I see them all. And bigger. I can read. So I want 200 by 200. The others are too small. 165. Now, I prefer 200 to 200. Click. It's ready to be embroidered. You don't have the right hoop. Hoop. Which one will I choose? Well, if I want to do stippling, I need ASQ22 or 20. Depends your machine. Okay. I'm going to center. Oh, no, I don't want to change machine. No, I don't want to. Okay. Oh, I want to remove this. Okay. When you ask for another hoop, you know, you, you see one on top of the other. So remove the one that you don't want. So center to hoop. Hey, look at this. And even if you say, oh, I'd like it really, really on bigger so select and you can still enlarge as long as the background is not pink there you go okay so i'll i'll make i'll do undo but keep your eyes here undo undo nothing change okay i just enlarge the size of the design 3,300 stitches. Undo, undo. 3,100 3, stitches. You understand? Okay. It adds stitches because I want it bigger. So I just click here, but you can make all the changes here. Rotation, mirror image, and you can change the size, the scaling. So no, no problem there. Okay. Let's say I don't want it. You say, hmm, I have to take those pre, uh, pre digitized design or I can do my own. I want it. I cannot change the, the size in between. Okay, I'll take a shape. I'll take a rectangle. I will draw a rectangle inside my hoop. In any hoop, huh? And I'm going to say the filling, I want stippling. Bingo. As easy as this. Okay. I have ASQ22. But if you say, no, no, I really want to do it now with my regular uh, SQ23. I'm using, you know, by... Um, I pre-programmed my machine for the 15,000. So I have the hoop. Okay. Then when you see the size is not the same, you can make all the changes here. You know, change the density, change the stitch length. You, you just say, okay, I want to change the length of the stitches. I want to say, I want to change the density of the stitches. You just... Let's say five. Enter. Eesh, it's big, yeah. Because I was at 
uh, undo. I was at zero eight three. So let's see zero eight five. Enter. Oof, this is even smaller. Okay, so you play with it. Uh, no, zero four. Hey, look at this. This is really micro stippling. Okay, so you can. You, you you can't hold on. This is just four instead of five. Look at this, and you can also change. Let me enlarge this. You see the length of the stitches. You know how to measure. Measure is here. Click up to here. So you see it's ten. 0.10 of an inch while well, I'm better in millimeter okay so let's see here 0.5 enter did you see it move look I'll do undo pre pre previously and with the change so I made it shorter the stitch so I'll do point Five. Hey, look how long it is. Stitch length longer. So sometimes it's really not nice. Like I'll show you something really not nice. Oh, yo, yo. I'm going to do one comma, enter. Oh, well, still. You know what? It depends what you want to do, but this is pretty large. Huh? It depends what you want to do. So you have a few options for stippling. Okay, we okay with this. I'll keep this frame. This uh, no, this hoop. Okay, I'll delete the ins. I'll delete the inside. No, I won't delete it. Then you say no. I don't want stippling. I want cross stitch. Look at this. Really, cross stitch. Really, and it says to do a cross stitch. You have to repeat twice. It does it by itself, okay? Twice. So the machine did stitch, one stitch, one stitch, one stitch, one stitch, one stitch, one stitch. You know, like, like a cross. Okay? So this is cross stitch. I'll do 75%. Okay. Cross stitch. I was thinking to show you something while I was doing this, but... Uh, See, I can change millimeter, centimeter. Oh, see, I forgot what I wanted to show you. Oh, slow redraw. Okay. So, start. So, you'll see the way the machine will work. I want it faster. Oh, it would go a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Go. So you see, it does the cross. Look at this. This is why it's twice. No, it's not twice. It did one zigzag, and it it's coming in between to do the cross. So that's another good function. Uh, slow redraw. See, 800 stitch a minute. Now she's going. Let's see, 1500. Whew. My machine is a thousand stitch a minute. So, 1000. Okay, that's as fast as my machine. The cross is my needle. So, at least you saw another function. Okay? Okay, stop this. Um, I show you. Oh, yeah, I'm not finished. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll do this. And uh, I'll ask new. I'll do a, a frame, a shape. I should say a shape. 
very big, whoops, no, why? I want it up to there. Center in the hoop. Okay. So you see, this is tatami. The, the weave, you know, the way the machine will embroider. If I do this red, you'll see better, I think. Okay. Hmm, maybe green. Maybe yellow it won't be that as bad. Okay. Now I'm back on property. Okay. And you say... Mm, I want this cross stitch okay or you want it net fill so I'm going to look at the net fill I'll do undo look cross stitch net fill okay net fill you're not happy you can enlarge the you can change the measurement. Zero, seven, let's say five. Look at this. Oh, better put it red this time. Uh, where's my red? Okay, hey, look at this. Okay. So, you can quilt with this. Huh? And you say, oh, I want it at, with an angle of 25 degree okay or 68 degree and you see how fast it is so you say okay 81 degree enter it's done really the software reacts fast you know all the uh, the option or the technique it's fast okay so that was another option. So you have cross stitch, net fill, stippling, uh, applique function, of course. I don't want it now because uh, it's not an applique that I want. Huh? Uh, zigzag. Huh? Or my applique stitch or my satin stitch. We saw this last time. Okay. What do I want to do when I do an applique? Do I want to, to cut, previously cut my applique shape or during the shape, during the shape, during the embroidery? So if it's pre-cut, it'll be a little bit different, okay? So if it's not pre-cut, the machine will do a straight stitch around for positioning then position the fabric tag down then you cut and then it'll do the zigzag or whatever you choose here okay so this is another fun thing okay i don't want what's inside now so we saw most of them okay now what quilters like um, quilters like, um, uh, how should I say, um, red work, okay, welcome, browse, favorite, example, and then let's search a design, and then you're going to say, hey, Celine, this is not possible, come on. This is not red work. This is not red work. Okay, I know. Let's ask the design. And this is an embroidery design, okay? I'm going to select it. I like it bigger. Let's say I, let's say I, I, I like it bigger. Okay. Okay, you see it's really an embroidery design, huh? So, I'm going to select it. And uh, no, I'll do this. Look in the look up up here. When I'll select it, you'll see more of them. Ah, it gives me other option. Convert, 
convert to red work. Look at this. A. So there's no need anymore to buy any, the, the design on the web. That's so easy. Okay? With built in, unless you know you don't have what you like. Let's take a more complicated one. This. Okay, I will enlarge because because I like it, I, and also because you see, well no, because you see better. Hold on. Okay, wait. The color is coming. Convert red work. It's finito. Look at this. Really incredible. And if there's something you don't like, you know what? Uh, you don't want the inside here. You're going to sit, break apart. Okay. You don't want this one? That's it. You understand? So you can still play with it. The part, you can change whatever you want. But this is red work. So it was easy, yeah? Everything is so... I don't know if I should say automatic. Uh, I should say uh, pre-program or easy. Uh, it's 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 easy. Now, something else. Tools. I have clip art here. Insert clip art. I'm going to change to to choose a shape. Ah, okay. Heart. Oh, insert. Okay, and I can do whatever I want, but I don't want it this way. Huh? I let it go too fast. Insert clip art, heart, shape, heart, heart is here. Okay, insert. Okay, center in the hoop. And uh, enlarge, because now I'm going to impress you for sure. Well, not me, the software. With the software, you, you know what? We're not limited. We do. We create, and nobody will have uh, the same design as, as, as you. Okay. I'm, choose, I'm selecting Convert. Create floral, floral, okay? Look what's happening, what is coming, okay? The, the screen is divided into, on one side you have flowers, and on the other side you have uh, leaves. I'm going to, ch to choose any flower. Let's say this one. And there's a lot, huh? Look at this. Oh no, tulip because it's tulip, uh, it's spring. And let's see here, I don't know the flower, the, 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 let's take this leaf. I'm not sure if it matches the, the tulip, but okay, that's finished. Look at this. Unbelievable, huh? And, and you can fill up any shape you want. You look at it and you say, mm, I would like it more full, more, yeah, more full. Okay. You know, there's never a no one eh, here. Okay. So the fill, the inside, I'm going to reduce the scaling. Let's say at 65%. Enter. Look what's going to happen. Wow. Okay, so this is now full. And I took a number just like this, 65. You can do whatever you want. Huh? And it depends of the shape. Uh, 75. It depends of the shape. Sometimes you say, oh, no, there's a bit blank here. I want to add more. So you have to try. Also, when I'm here, look at this. Now I'm going to lose all my green and 
the lines. Look the tulips, rectangle, circular, contour, single line. Well, this is ugly, but shape fit. Line fit, this is not nice neither. You have to try them all and floral vine so you're coming back to your design. You see the main, it starts here. But let's say you want more or less of the, of the leaf. You can also change everything. Flower scale, you want the flower 150% bigger. I'm not sure if I did this right. Yeah, flower scale. Oh yeah, it's it's larger. Some it depends where they are. Okay. Then I'm going to enlarge the design. Look, the flower is on the center of a line, the black line. Flower position. Do I want them above? Wait. Okay. See, it's above. Do I want those tulips under or below? And sometimes it's not nice, you know, you have to wait. Now, my... It didn't go. Oops, what happened now? The software just crashed on me. This is what I was afraid when you push this, uh, with my computer anyway, when you push it too much, you just reopen it. You know, it's like uh, it doesn't like it. So you see, uh, you say, well, I want to change. I don't want these tulip. I will change this here for fun. If you look at all, hey, look at this. I left the, the set. Hey, look. And you don't want them white. You know you can change the color, huh? Okay, I'm coming back. It did floral. And I want a butterfly. Hey, unbelievable. It's, it's really, you know what? Even if I work a lot with it, I'm still amazed. I'm almost amazed. Almost, uh, always amazed. So 20,900 stitches, five change of color, and don't change the order of the color huh, because, uh, and it gives you the measurement. You want it bigger, smaller, or whatever you want, you, you change this. Okay. So, okay. So, uh, so we, we saw many things. Let me just uh, see restore design. Okay, let's see. I don't want it, and I want something new. And I'm going to insert. It can insert a symbol, but there's that symbol nice here that I can use uh, for um, to fill up with flowers. You know, I'd rather take. Uh, a clip art and you don't have to you can create your clip art okay you don't have to um, uh, do I have shape here or maybe I have something else I need the outline to make it look good this is a chair Face. Uh, this is a face. No, no, I don't want that. See, you see them again here. But here, it's just a design. It doesn't fill up. Okay. Oh, yes, I want to show you something else. Okay. No, my best bet was here. Um... Insert. And 
center in the hoop and convert floral and then I'll choose a heavy one one that with the that's very I right, look at this with this just for fun it's working and look at that then oh this one went over so I'm coming here fill and I want a lot smaller let's say 50% I'm waiting because it's working behind did I do enter 50% oh no it's working it is working sometimes you know you, you push your software too much huh? I hope it's going to uh, to stop soon oh yeah it's coming hey look at this how nice it is and also you know you can change your settings up oh, look it's still working so I have 32,000 stitches and you play with all these see curvature this is the curve of the uh, so you can uh, manipulate them hmm ay 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 I don't think I'll be able to uh, to more I have to wait it was okay but but if you look at oh no, I can't even if I touch my mouse it doesn't work so what I'm in this case oh no it's finished okay I'll show you something else here hmm. it doesn't respond huh? I I asked some uh, discard Okay, okay. Now, this is brush stroke background. Okay, PNG. Uh, I did as a paint. I'm not sure what I did. <laughs> Whoa, this is not nice. This card. I did it here. I don't remember what I did, but so see, this is what I did. Then we see this a lot. Uh, it's it's in style now. So let's say I'm coming to take another clip part, and I want a flower. So flower, and I want one with a stem. Insert. Do I want this to be embroidered like that? No. Convert and clip art. Unbelievable, huh? And then I can move it, make it small, make it big. Turn, curve, and hurry, circular. Look at this. Enter. Uh, here, I'm sorry. Yes, I do. Look at this. You know what? There's no limit. Um, Anne Ein gives a, a class um, uh, every Thursday about the software. You are lucky because you all speak English, okay? My English is uh, limited. So you're all lucky. In French, I'm so good, you have no idea. So I don't know what Genomic Canada will do about this, but uh, this is really what we need, uh, classes with uh, uh, to help you to develop more and learn more about the software. I'll show you one last thing. See how I played with? So my background was stippling. And then with all the shapes here, shapes, look what I did. I insert uh, ellipse, pie, ellipse, uh, rectangle. I play with the rectangle, land I, around the corner, triangle, 
polygon, the star is there, and I change the inside of of them. Just it's a mixture, just for you, just to play. You see, here I did zigzag. Here I did a straight stitch. You know, I change every. You see, straight, straight. And you know, when you when you play, when you play with this, okay. You save it into a draw file. Draw. Okay? Because it's a draw file, you can come back and then I'll say, okay. Um, I say, okay. And I want the uh, auto border serial. Okay. So you see, now I have a zigzag. Just before I had a straight stitch, you see? You know what this is? It's unbelievable what that software can do. Okay, I don't want this. So let's see. Whoa, no. Control A. I don't want nothing of this. Um, I'll come back here. 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 I don't know how I'm doing with time, huh? Favorite example, and I uh, don't like those birds, they scare me. Um, let's see this design. Okay, so is it right click ambient quilting? I, I won't do anything, but look just to see what's gonna happen. Whoa, no, 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 this is not what I want to do. Uh, ambient quilting. So my hope is, uh, I don't want echo, I want scroll. And density, I would have to play with the measurement. Border, hmm, I should do five. Okay. See? This is one type of ambient quilt. I'm going to remove this. Okay. Now, right click again, ambient quilting, and I will do echo five. Okay, see, it follows all the way. See, it's really echo, it changes while it's going because here there's opening. And if they're too tight, you can change. No, I'll do this. If it's too tight, I can change ambient school thing. I can change the density and the offset. Let's say you want 0 0.6. Well, so that's what I want to do. Right click. Ambient school thing, echo. I should do five here. Okay, offset. I should do five. Let's see how terrible it'll be. <laughs> see, it's not some part is not nice, but what do you do with this? You don't want that one, delete. Ah, I did delete everything. I didn't want to do this. So what do I do? It did uh, or here right click. Right no. I don't want this one. Um ungroup. There you go. And I can space them. You know there's no limit. You have to play. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's not nice, it's not nice, you redo it the way you want. Okay, so that was the last little demonstration. And uh, with one month of uh, playing with the software, of course, uh, you must have fell in love. So I wish you a software. Mother's Day is uh, in two weeks, I believe. Huh? So I wish you one and... Uh, I'll see you. You'll see me around. I'll keep uh, doing those little uh, video um, those uh, with Janome. 
So I'm saying goodbye, everybody, and uh, enjoy your last few hours with the software. Bye-bye. <laughs>